Hello everyone and welcome to the next lecture of tutorial series on introduction to Python. In the last lecture, we saw about data types and input output functions. And in this session, we will learn about data structures in Python. So let us start with our session on data structures. First, which data structures are supported in Python? They are lists, tuples, dictionaries and sets. Let us open our Jupyter Notebook and see them one by one. Let me create a new file, a new Python file over here. So I have created a new Python 3 notebook and let me change the name. Data structures. Data structures in Python. So we have four data structures and we'll see all of them one by one. First, let us see about lists. Okay, let us see about lists now. And now what we will do, how to create a list. What is a list? List is a list of things, a list of items. Okay, it is a self-explanatory word. So we can have a list of numbers. Okay, we can have a list of numbers. What if I call A? Press shift enter, I get an output over here. Okay, and I can I can also have a list of strings. Okay, I can have a list of strings. Suppose let me write let me write lists of students. Okay, so I can have a list of students over here. I get a list of students. Okay, what if I do print B? I'll get the same thing over here. Okay, and type of B is a list. Type of, type of B is a list as well as A is a list. So this way we can create a list and we can also create a list, a mixed list with one, two, three, and some strings string one let us say string one string two okay so we can create a list of mixed things we can also have a floating point number over here i'll press shift enter this is also a list this is also a list so we can create lists okay now we will move to tuples okay and then we will see what is the difference between a list and a tuple so for tuple we need to have parentheses right so let me have d over here and this is a tuple this is a tuple okay we have a parenthesis. Let me just type the type of D. Okay, it is a tuple. So now what is the difference, key difference between a list and a tuple? Okay, this is also a list of items. Above one is also a list of items and below one is also a list of items. Then what is the key difference? The key difference is in tuples, in list we can change the values okay we can change the values at particular position suppose i don't want 10 over here and i want 0 over here i can change it okay but in tuples i can't so lists are mutable but tuples are immutable okay so let us see some things about indexing over here suppose i call a of 0 then i'll get 1 okay and now what i will do is I will replace a of 0 by word o n e 1. Press shift enter and call a. You can see that the element at 0th index 
has been replaced okay here the index numbers start from 0 1 2 3 4 not from 1 2 3 4 okay so you need to take care about this and now what i will do is i will just uh, call this element at 0th index we have one over here but when i try to change it i'll get an error you can see i have got an error because the things in tuples are immutable. So this was the key difference between lists and tuples. Next comes the dictionary data type. Dictionaries. Okay. Dictionary data types. Which are much analogous to real life dictionary. In real life dictionaries, we have word and a meaning for that word. And here in Python, we have a key and value for that key value, which is connected to that key. So what we will do is we will create a dictionary E. Okay. Or we will, we will just create a record of student. Okay. We will, we need to create in curly braces over here. First, we will have name. Okay. First, we will have name. Let us type in the name over here. Okay. Then we can have the contact. Okay. Next, we can we can just have college. And you can see our record dictionary has been created. Okay, now how to how to type how to print this, this value, I can print this value using the key name okay so i will type in record and name over here we need to take care as it is case sensitive and we i have got my name printed over here okay i can also print contact over here and i have got my contact and i can also change the value suppose i want to change the value of my contact then i can change it to this one press shift enter and again call record you can see the value the value which was attached with the contact key has been changed so this was about dictionaries and now coming to sets sets in python let me let me just change this to markdown no markdown so we'll have sets over here okay and here sets are also created by curly braces okay but before moving over to sets let me let me just enter a new cell over here okay and print the type of record it will be a dictionary dict okay and we can we can type in okay we can we can just print type of d type of d it's a tuple right and now we'll have a set so we can have a set named e okay with curly braces so here we have one 1.1 then we have high then we have then what is the key you will be thinking what is the key difference between sets and a list okay one is in curly braces and one is in box brackets what is the difference so the key difference is that sets sets will print out all the things in a random way 
ओके लेट मी कॉल ई और प्रिंट ई ओके प्रिंट ई यू कैन सी वॉट विल है ओके यू कैन सी दैट दे हैव दीज वैल्यूज डोंट हैव एन ऑर्डर ओके दे आर प्रिंटेड रैंडमली दीज थिंग्स आर प्रिंटेड रैंडमली ओवर हियर so they don't have an order and if i try to call this okay e at index 0 then i'll get an error because they don't have a specific no element has a specific index right so this was about sets these were some data types in sorry data structures in python and now what we will learn is we will learn indexing and slicing what is indexing indexing means calling an element or printing an element at a particular index in a lists or tuple and slicing means calling or printing a list of element in a list or tuple so first we'll see about indexing i think we saw about indexing we can just type in a of 0 and we get 1 over there okay we can if we type in a of 2 then we get Three over here. Okay, so this was about indexing, and now we move on to slicing. What is slicing? So, what if I want to print the elements from zero and till, and till I want to print the elements till six over here. Okay, so as six is at the fifth index, six is at the fifth index. We will write here. Six. Okay, we'll write here six. So you can you can just see that the kernel kernel will take uh, take the zero at index, but it will not take the sixth index, the element at sixth in index. Instead, it will take the element at index before at the index before it will stop at five. Okay, so so you can you can just say. you can just say that we have this type of thing over here where 0 is included and 6 is excluded okay where 0 is included and 6 is excluded so this was about slicing and now what if i want what if i want to skip uh, skip some elements at regular intervals i can also do that so what we'll do is we will we want it to be till till 11th index okay and we want every third variable to be printed okay or every second variable to be printed and now let us press shift enter and you can see one has been printed but two hasn't been printed the second variable after that has been printed then five is printed seven is printed nine is printed and 11 is printed so this way we can print out the elements and now what if we want to print it till end okay if we want to print it till end we'll just use colon over here and we can see that we have printed all the elements till end now we want to print all the elements till end but we want every fourth element to be printed okay so one has been printed okay 2 3 4 are omitted and then again five has been printed okay 6 7 8 are again omitted and nine has been printed so this way we can print every fourth element every second element every fifth element this was about slicing slicing in python now what we can have is we can create data structures inside data structures okay so let us have f now and let me create a list okay in that list what i will do is i will create a tuple and it is valid it is valid to create a tuple inside a list this is what all the developers like about python okay and now it is at 4 0th 
first, second, and third index. So when I call f of zero, sorry, f of three. f of 3 then I get a tuple over here okay so here I get a tuple and now what I want inside the tuple also I want 2 to be printed okay so it is at first index then I, I'll press shift enter and I have 2 printed over here so this way I can print several things okay let us have a g variable right it will be a list of tuple. Okay. I'll have a tuple over here. I can also have a dictionary over here. Key 1. Colon value 1. Or I'll write 1 over there. Let me write i. Then we have key 2. Let me write double I. Okay. So this is a basic dictionary. Okay. And I can also have four over here. Okay. Let me press shift to tab. And now what I will do is I will call the thing at first position. And I get back the dictionary. Now what I will do is I will call. I will call something at first position. And I want double I to be printed. So what I'll do is I will give in key 2 over here. And I, I have double I printed over there. Okay. I can also have a list inside. Okay. So let me have a list of 1 1.11, 2.22, 3.33. And you can you can just have key two, and inside the list, what if I want the element at first position? So I'll get back two point two two. I think yes, you got back two point two two. So you can create a list inside a list, a tuple inside a list, a dictionary inside a list, a list inside a dictionary. Anything is possible over here. Now. We will study about converting data types. Okay, we will study about converting data structures. Converting data structures. So, how can we convert data structure? We can convert a list of tuples into a dictionary. Right? We can convert a string into a list. So let us do that. So let me have a string. First, let me have a string over here. So I will have a string S and I will type in edignite over here. Okay. I'll type in edignite. Right. So and now what I'll do is I will convert the string. Okay. I'll convert the string. So let me have s s2 or let me have a list over here i'll convert it to list so let me have l l will be list of this string okay and let me call l so you you can see each and every each and every character in this string has become an element in this list so i can call here l of 0 okay I can call here L of 0, L of 1, L of 2, right? So now what we will do is we will create a tuple from this string, okay? So I will have T equal to tuple, T equal to tuple of S, say S, okay? And I will call T over here and here I have got my tuple. Let me have type of T. I am getting a tuple and type of L will be a list. So this was about 
converting a string into a list or a tuple. Now, what we'll do is let us have a list of tuple. Okay, so I will have a list, and what I will do is I will have another tuple, a tuple over here. So let this tuple be one comma one okay we can have pairs of roman numerals two comma two and three comma three next we can have is four let us have till four four comma four okay so our list has been created now what if i want to change this list into a dictionary here first element of every tuple will become a key and the next element will become value of that key so we can do it by dict command okay so i will have dict of list so let us have dictionary equal to dict of list okay and now let me call dictionary i can have all of these key value pairs over here so what if i what if i call dictionary one then i will have one for four i will have roman numeral four so we have created a dictionary let us let us know the type of this data structure okay so can have type of this data structure as dictionary so you can see our dictionary has been created from a list of tuples okay a list of tuples where first one okay first element corresponded to key and the next element corresponded to value we will see the last thing now that is adding items when we already created a list okay in an already created list so let me change this to mark now i name it as adding adding items okay press shift enter and now i have a list with me right i have a list with me say a this is the list let me print out again let me print out the value of a okay so this is the list now what if what if i want to insert a value okay what if i want to insert the value so what i will do is i will extend it okay i will extend it or i will append it okay first i will see how to append a value so what i will do a dot append okay i want 13 at last I press shift enter oops i am not getting it okay i i just need to have a parenthesis over here okay and then let me call a press shift enter okay so you you got your value at the last now what if i want a value i want a value between 2 and 3 okay i want a value just after 2 i want 2.5 after after 2 for that we use the insert command so what i will do is i'll use insert command i'll just cut this cell okay i will use insert first i will type in where i want on which index do i want 0 1 and 2 i want it at index 2 and what value i want is i want 2.5 over there okay we'll run the cell and then what we will do is we will 
printed. So you see that we have got 2.5 at our index and all the other values, all the other values after the second index have been shifted, okay, have been shifted further. So this way we can insert a value on a particular index. Now, what if I want to extend this list, okay, I want to extend this list to 14, 15, 16. So, for that, I will use, uh, let us say, I will use extend E, okay, I will use EX and I will type in 14, 15 and 16. We press shift enter and now what I will do is I will extend my A. So, I will have extend A dot extend EX, okay. For that, we use extend command over here. EX. And you can see that the items have been extended. So, this way we can, uh, we can append, append a value, insert a value on a particular index and we can extend our list. Right. So, this was the end of our session and before we end this session we'll just like to summarize what we have read so let us have a summary of what we have done first we studied about data structures in python four data structures list tuples dictionaries and sets then we studied about indexing and slicing variables then we studied about converting the types of data structures. Okay, we studied how to convert a string into a list or tuple, how to convert a list of tuples into a dictionary. Okay, and then we studied about inserting variables in already created list. So that's it for today's lecture. And in the next lecture, we will study about various operators. So thank you all for being a wonderful audience. Have a nice day.